And so they they may be the last person to see the justice of the peace that night uh, in order to apply for bail. I should have been about the sixth person going out at about 11 o'clock that night, but uh, I didn't get down till 7.30 the next morning, the very last person. And then when I went before there, uh, I was given a $500 bail. And then, uh, and then I went to court. Uh, I was told to go to court on the 25th. I went to court on the 25th. And I uh, put it over to the 16th so I could uh, put together my case. And more than I got, I mean, I'm, 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 I've been shopping around for the different lawyers around here to help. And, and I want to make sure that they understand my civil resistance defense and that they're going to take direct orders from me as to exactly how I'm going to run my defense. I'm, I'm saying George Bush is the criminal. He's the one that should be on trial, not me. And they're charging me with obstruction of uh, police, uh, police in, uh, in, 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 in the service of his duty. Right, the duty of his uh, 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 of his job, and so I, I'm saying to him, no, I'm saying that they they obstructed me from performing the citizens' arrest against Bush, and, and that they themselves were derelict in upholding the Canadian code, the criminal code on war crimes divisions, and so uh, so now I go back on the 16th, and some of these lawyers locally around here, man, are giving me some outrageous costs of fifteen or twenty thousand dollars for a four day trial, and I said, geez, that's, you got to be out of your mind. You know, I can't handle that. So I think in the long run what's going to happen is I think I'm more than, uh, more than uh, 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 I can handle my own situation. I will certainly do my best to, to argue my own case. I'll act pro se and argue my own case, and I will call in people like Ramsey Clark and Gail Davidson and, uh, and, and, and Professor Tony Hall from Lethbridge University who uh, did an excellent paper on, uh, on, on Bush and Bashir being war crime, uh, the difference between the war criminals, and that's on war crime. Uh, uh, criminals uh, out dot com. You can check that out. And so, uh, where I'm at right now is just trying to gather up enough support people to help me out. Throw a few bucks my way here and there. Uh, uh, if anybody wishing to help uh, help me do that, uh, please get a hold of me at splitting the sky uh, dot uh, yahoo at yahoo dot com. And uh, or else you can call me uh, two numbers. I'll be here just till tonight. Uh, area code four zero three. Uh, six six eight zero oh, five nine eight, uh, and then uh, after tonight, I'm I'm going back to Chase, and I should be back by tomorrow afternoon. I'll be back at my home, two five zero six seven nine seven seven four three, and uh, so any help you could do would be greatly appreciated. Uh, the thing about it was, is you know, it, it, when you look at the tapes and then you realize just how serious that situation was, is. You know, I mean, that, that was, a, if you look around, there was hundreds of snipers there. There was a lot of undercover, man, uh, uh, you know, so, uh, security agents, man, of the, uh, for Bush, you know, uh, Secret Service, and as well, Blackwater-type mercenaries in commando suits with, uh, you know, fully sniper outfits, uh, with, with sniper guns. And so, uh, the thing about it, when I uh, just finally decided to break that line, you know, it, 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 there was a there was a possibility that somebody would have pulled out a gun and just blew me away because that was uh, a very temperamental thing and you know you just don't go and I and I tell you I was totally determined man to make it right up into that room I'd get as far as I could get in a sea of uh, uh, security and a whole bunch of guns and uh, to get make my way past it man to to serve this guy notice well the thing about it is while well, we 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 almost got to the front door. And, uh, but the thing about it is, uh, I, I believe, uh, you know, uh, in May, May 13th, Condoleezza Rice is coming to Calgary. And we're going to be there for her, too. And I believe that there's a whole lot of other people that are going to be there to let her know that she's a war criminal and she's not welcome to Canada either. Well, I wish you the best of luck there, Split in the Sky. I, I have one quick question for you. We only have about uh, two minutes left until we run out of time. Uh, I was watching that one video you sent me, that video link, and lo and behold, you had as uh, one of the people talking on there was Dave Rutherford, which is a conservative talk show host. Yes. Uh, and he basically says that what million people killed over in Iraq, and yet there's a report saying there's over a million Iraqis killed. I remember yes. this uh, neocon out of Edmonton. This guy is so right-wing that what happens is he might as well call himself a, a Stalinist supporter. He's that far yeah. right. He's basically almost all the way over to the far left. 
And and what happens is is that uh, with this gentleman here, he's so closed-minded, he refuses to open his eyes to the evidence right in front of him. And that's so sad that there's so many people, the elitists within Calgary and even small pockets within uh, you know Edmonton and large pockets over in Red Deer. Uh, could you quickly talk about that and about? Well, uh, the only thing I know about that, that was the, the young fella that uh, was interviewing him was uh, the guy Nathan Moulton. Now Nathan Moulton is we are changing Calgary, and he's uh, uh, he's, he's one of the best uh, next to DJ Ball. There, he's one of the next vi- best videographers in the 9/11 Truth movement. And uh, I actually had told Nathan that just because Nathan had come up to me after the second time, and he had asked me if uh, you know uh, you know what was was I plan our next. And I told him, well, you know Nathan, if I go if I go and do it this time. I said, I said, if I do it this time, I'm breaking the line. And I said, I need you there with that camera to make sure that 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 that, that there is our position is shown. And sure enough, he stuck to me like a shadow, and he got it, and he did an excellent job. Now, as far as him talking with Rutherford, and and you see, if you look at that whole video, he went all up and down the line. Not one person of fifteen hundred people, man, took any of the leaflets about uh, the statistics relative to the dead in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, you know, I, I, I that's just. You know, I, I mean, it's just uh, Rutherford, I believe. I'm not even quite sure he is. He is a conservative party something. Uh, it's a leader from somewhere. But I really don't know, who, you know where he's from. But the fact is, he's a politician, and he just blew off a million Iraqis. Like, what million Iraqis? You know, the guy probably has absolutely no knowledge of what's going on over there because, well, he's just too busy living fat off the hog here in Canada. That's so true. And now what happens is for our listening audience, could you actually in about 30 seconds just leave some closing words, uh, website, your website again, uh, your email address? Yes, yes that's uh, splitting the sky, www.splittingthesky.net. And you can also flip over to my blog right off the net and also warcriminalsout.com. And if anybody's interested in helping me out, uh, uh, w, uh, 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 you, uh, uh Email me at splittingthesky at yahoo.com or call me right here, 403-668-0598 or at home after tomorrow, 250-679-7743. Well, thank you so much for agreeing to come on there, Splitting the Sky. This is Co-op Radio 102.7 FM, CFRO. You've been listening to Hidden from History. Uh, basically, we're Kevin will be back next week. And I'd like to say to the listening audience, thank you so much for listening in and, and uh, just basically open your eyes and start uh, realizing what's happening. Thank you so much, everyone.